What's good y'all, Rugs here. Today's soap review features Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Blue Sewing. Uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements is a artisan that's been around since 2012. Uh, they originally started as How to Grow Mustache and Pedal Pusher Fancies uh, before rebranding themselves to Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Eric and Fran are the owners. Um, they have a well-established presence in the uh, wet shaving community, most notably on Facebook. Um, this is their fall offering or one of their fall offerings that was released last week or, or two weeks ago. Um, they tout this, this as being a, a year five release, but with a twist in that they uh, decided to oak barrel age the uh, scent in order to provide ghost notes in the uh, scent of both the soap and aftershave. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements can be purchased direct on their website. So, Blue Sumin, being a fall scent, features notes of sandalwood, burnt sugar, bourbon, and pumpkin. Of course, the scent has been matured in oak barrels. Um, sadly, I don't get anything except sweet sugar followed by pumpkin um, I don't smell any sandalwood creaminess or any bourbon notes to uh, make this scent something that I reach for often um, it's just a sweet pumpkin sugar cookie if you will to my uh, to my nose the sweetness is cloying, and as such, uh, Mrs. Rudds does not approve of this scent, uh, as she finds it much too sweet for her taste. Scent strength on this is strong out of the container and remains strong throughout the uh, leather and shave process. And TryThatSoap.com recommends Sterling Soap Company Sweet Pumpkin Spice is a similar scent profile. So this year's release of Blue Celine uh, comes in the CK6 base, which is the most recent soap base by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I believe it was released in 2018. It is an entirely vegan soap base uh, of mid firmness on the firmness spectrum. Tremendously easy loading soap, but also extremely thirsty soap. So I urge you to take care in loading your brush or you'll be working the lather for quite some time to uh, really hydrate the soap properly. When you do hydrate it properly and get it built to the uh, consistency that it's intended to be, the lather will feel like Cool Whip on your skin. High volume, high structure, fairly dense lather with a muted sheen to it. Slickness in both primary and residual aspects are excellent. I can move the uh, razor along buff with uh, no fear of the razor skipping or dragging on my skin. And the post shave is also excellent. <coughs> post shave leaves your skin soft, supple, well hydrated for quite some time after you've rinsed it away. You can forego an aftershave routine when using this lather if you do so choose to. Given my experience with the CK6 soap base, it receives a shave score of 92. And for similar performing soap bases, I suggest you check out Holy Cow's Vegan Offering or Southern Witchcrafts. Drama Free Dome and Face Shave this evening with PAA Blue Sewing. Uh, this scent definitely is not for me, um, as I mentioned, much too sweet, but I do see the uh, 
the value in this scent for anyone who enjoys things like pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin pies, um, as it is fall here in New England and, you know, across the uh, Northern Hemisphere. So definitely take a peek at it if you're so inclined to uh, try a sweet pumpkin-y scent, uh, maybe in your wheelhouse. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not a subscriber, please become one. See ya.